A fire hits too close to home in Mansfield when a fire truck goes up in flames inside the firehouse. Crews just got back to the station when they started smelling smoke. Good afternoon. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Kate Merrill. Firefighters had to rush to try to save the engine and the building. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Mansfield with the very latest. Bill? Good afternoon, Kate and Chris. You know, it, 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 it kind of brings to mind a thought that, well, if you're going to have a fire, a fire station is a good place to do it. However, this fire at the station in Mansfield got very serious very quickly. And they had just returned from a fire call, and they put the apparatus away in the garage bays when an engine caught fire. And it wasn't easy to put out. Within seconds, the fire station was full of smoke. And two firefighters had to be taken to the hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. So essentially, I've lost uh, beyond an engine that will not be coming back, uh, two rescues which need to be completely decontaminated, and all of the medical supplies that were on those rescues are lost as well. Uh, those can't be decontaminated. We'll have to get new, and all of my supplies that replenish those uh, were lost uh, due to smoke conditions. And you, you heard the chief talking about the uh, equipment and supplies. That's because there was an ambulance in there at the time. All of that was contaminated, all the drugs, all the equipment. You can see in back of me, there's a pile of their clothing. All of that was contaminated. So they're going to have to, in effect, start over from ground zero right here at the main firehouse in downtown Mansfield. Reporting live, I'm Bill Shields. Back to you guys.